open source language models. That is AI models that you can run from your own machine completely offline and privately are becoming super mega powerful. Mistral, a French startup just recently released Mixtral, an AI model that outperforms both GPT 3.5 and Llama 2. The Technology Innovation Institute from Abu Dhabi also released Falcon, which outperforms GPT 4. The headlines sound cool and indeed the models are very powerful. But the problem is that when you try to run them, the user experience experience absolutely sucks. You have to download and install a bunch of things, run some code on the console that you may or may not understand, and follow tutorials where you don't know what you're doing, only to get an error and get stuck at the end. That is until you use Olama. Olama is a lovely piece of software that makes running LLMs in your machine as easy as working with ChatGPT. Olama is the reason why I'm using ChatGPT less and less and one day I will be able to replace it completely. It supports tons of models, from the standard ones like Llama, Falcon and Mistral, to models optimized for coding, function calling, logic, and even uncensored models that will write literally whatever you tell them to. After you go to Olama AI, click download, install it in your computer, and open it, you will see a tiny Llama icon in your menu bar. That means Olama is running and ready to go. As we said before, Olama allows you to run a variety of LLMs locally. So before we can use it, we actually have to choose a model we want to run. To find out what models we can run, head to olama.ai slash library and there you will find a list of all the models available. For this video we are going to choose the Mistral model. This is one of my favorite models. It's tiny, it does not require lots of memory, and it outperforms other models that are much bigger. On the detail page, we can find information about the model, memory requirements, and other things. To run it, we're going to copy the command we see and paste it in our console. The first time you run that command, you need to be connected to the internet, and you need to wait for a while because Olama is going to download the model and save it in your machine. The next time you run the Olama run command, if the model is in your machine already, it will take no time. You can even be offline and it will work. Once Mistral has finished downloading, you can get started talking to it and of course it is going to work awesomely well. To exit the conversation, we will send the slash by command. How awesome is this? The user experience of Llama is absolutely fire compared to other methods of running LLMs like Llama CPP, for example. Depending on your computer, it is going to run faster or slower. And of course, we have to make sure that first we can run the model by checking the memory requirements on the model page to make sure our computer can handle it. Because Olama is awesome, we can have more than one model installed in our machine. That means we can go shopping once again on the models page of the Olama website, and this time we are going to choose the Olama uncensored model. If we look at the memory requirements, we can see that there are two sizes we can choose from, 7 billion or 70 billion. Because we don't have 64 gigabytes of RAM to run the 70 billion parameter, we are going to go for the 7 billion one. To do this, we go to the tax tab of the model page and there we will see all the versions that are available. Here we can choose the 7 billion version, the 70 billion version, or the 7 billion chat version, and 70 billion chat version. When a model has a chat version, that just means that the model is optimized for chatbot conversations. There are other versions on other models like instruct that are optimized for following instructions, or text that are just for text completion. To run the 7 billion chat model, we are going to copy the wrong command and paste it in our console once again. After we download it, we can ask it a question to see how uncensored it actually is. If we ask it to help us write ransomware, it is going to reply with no problem. If I ask the same question to ChatGPT, here is the answer we will get. Olama has some commands that you can use to manage the models that are in your machine. You can run Olama list to see what models you have downloaded and what size they are. If you are running out of space in your hard drive, you can delete a model by running Olama RM plus the name of the model. It is also good to know that when you run Olama on your computer, it starts a server on localhost port 11434 and exposes an endpoint you can use if you are building an app that uses LLMs. You can hit the slash generate endpoint to get a response from a model that you already installed. You can also chat with a model by hitting the slash chat endpoint. And you can use Olama with with other frameworks like Langchain as well. Olama works for both Mac and Linux. It also works 
works for Windows if you have WSL installed. And for people that don't have it, the full Windows version is coming soon. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Your subscription means a lot to me. It motivates me in creating quality content every week. So please don't forget to hit that button. Also, let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on Olama. I find the user experience absolutely awesome. Way better than Llama, CPP and other ways of running LMs that I have used so far. It is also awesome to be able to just open my console and just start talking to it with no internet required. Thank you for watching as always. See you on the next one. Bye bye.